into classes at the 2018 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes and some big scores, just like the 222 marked by Rocky Davis in the Unlimited Amateur Derby. Congratulations. How does it feel to be you right now, Rocky? Ha, top of the world. Didn't think you could ever win twice here. It's hard enough to ever win once. Now, the last time we spoke was just a few short months ago when it was in the, under the lights of Will Rogers when you won the same class on the same horse the same at the horse. Futurity. Quite an accomplishment. Yes, that horse is so trained. He's just absolutely unreal. You just do your job and he's going to more than double what he, he needs to do. Like, he just does it. You obviously have a lot of chemistry together. Uh, yeah, he was getting a little shaky this morning. I wasn't riding him all that good. Wasn't getting presented to the cows that good. And he was getting a little shaky and a little bit nervous. But we got him done right here this afternoon. And so was that a good opportunity to iron out whatever was kind of going wrong, a good preparation for the final tonight? Yes, I really had to get my focus on game. What really mattered, like you got to cut a cow right and present him to that cow and then let him do his stuff. And I, I really had to get focused. So. so you're saying it was more you this morning, not the horse so much? Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, like I said, that horse will do anything. If you do your part, he will just cover you right to the end. So. Okay, now Redneck Crazy um, is a Futurity Champion. How has the horse come along? How has he developed since then? He's only been showed a little bit. We had a little bit of a hamstring uh, bruising uh, two months ago, so he's actually been off for the last six weeks. And he just got worked lately on cows just before we come here. He, it's the first time he's had to put out. Okay, well. so certainly worked out. Yeah. Now, um, take us through your run today. Can you describe it, what it was like for you and, and the cows that you chose? Yeah, this cows had quite a bit of feel and quite a bit of move to them, and we picked out some cows we thought would honor us pretty good. And being early in the herd, we just all we had to do was get them set up so that we'd get them cut. And that first cow was a real handful, but he just, we got him started right. Like I say, you, you do your job and he will do his, and we rode it for a long time. <laughs> and, and he never, he never doubted himself at all. Like he had control the whole time. He, he knew he had it. So. It was a big final, 40 of you all together and a lot of cows. How did you manage that big herd? Um, it wasn't too bad. We didn't have to go all that deep. Eh? We, were, we were early so the cattle had some move to them. So we didn't have to move a whole bunch of cattle, but enough to get our job done. And the cattle we needed, uh, herd, herd guys got them set up for us. Eh? We had a good selection. We had lots we could pick from. And we had just happened to get the ones we really did want towards the outside of the herd, where we didn't have to go really deep, move the whole herd. So. And you've won, I think, just over $13,000. Not a bad payday. It makes a trip from Canada worthwhile, wouldn't it? Definitely is, yeah. <laughs> especially these good American dollars. <laughs> that is true, especially with the exchange rate, as you say. Yeah. Now, um, with the, all this amount of winning you've been doing down here, you'd be becoming a bit of a cutting celebrity up there, wouldn't you? Uh, not really. <laughs> no. no. Are you planning on Make It 3 for 3? Can you come back for the Summer Spectacular? Oh yeah, we'll be here for the summer's back out here for sure. Okay, yes. best of luck with that. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rocky Davis, the Unlimited Amateur Derby Champion. That's it for all the cutting action tonight. Join us again tomorrow. There'll be two more non-pro finals and some open cutting. Good night.